अनाड़ी जी जय श्री कृष्णा भाई जय श्री कृष्ण दिस मैच टुडे इज फ्रांस एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया इट्स एन इंटरनेशनल फिक्सचर हियर एंड दैट विल ब्रिंग बैक मेमोरीज फॉर यू एंड योर इंग्लैंड करियर Well it is a proud moment you stand there you sing along to the national anthem and uh, you just want to do yourself justice by presenting your country It's on the subject of France and this uh, wonderful group of young players that they've got. Yeah, and we talk about Claire Fontaine. We have done so often down the years, and still it produces players like Mbappe and Dembele. Wonderful young prospects. Kick off from Australia. The lineup here for France. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Samuel Umtiti plays with Rafael Varane in central defence. Paul Pogba plays alongside Ousmane Dembélé in midfield. Olivier Giroud is the main striker today. Well, the referee had a good look at the player who was down and decided it was serious enough to stop the game. Well, the injured player has gone off. We're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Mendy, Dembele. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. That's safely away. France have been given the corner. In goes the corner. 
very good distance to the clearance putting on the squeeze again and forcing an error really a wasteful clearance Rabio there's a dangerous feel to this attack it's looking good from their point of view Griezmann cut off that will be a goal kick Classy. Cahill. Oh, good idea, I suppose, but it didn't work, so maybe not such a good idea. Dembele. Conte. Lucadinho. That may well be an advantage for France here. Trying to keep the ball. Not anymore. On the attack here. Cahill. He's cut it back looking for a teammate. Hit the bar! In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. That will keep him awake. Not just tonight, but for many nights to come, I think. Oh dear. Well, he did look easier to score than to miss. I think he just got a bit overexcited there. Rafael Varad, Griezmann, Adrian Rabio, Pogba. He's coming forward with some danger. Troisi. This should be. Treads it through. Should be. Dangerous pass, I think, with the keeper pushing it away. And that is now a goal kick. It's a very. Uh, Good effort earlier, wasn't that, Alan? Here it is. Well, I think the crossbar's still shaking after that drive from close range. Rafael Varad. Dembele. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Juric. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Pogba. Giroud. Lovely ball. Griezmann. Very sharp. Reaction save from close in. Be a corner for France. <laughs> corner played into the middle. Tried to keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. Oh, I thought he was going to score there. I thought he should have scored. Juric. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Dembele. Olivier Giroud guided through. On Griezmann. Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. Cahill. Two oohs around the crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. 
moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here Pogba in towards the front but he's got his fist to it Dembele with Griezmann and here's the shot and they've scored and they've opened the scoring here and France can go in at half time with a wonderful lift to their belief for this game just committed one or two extra men forward and it worked That's good for France, they've got this lead. Well, that's half-time at 1-0. I think that's a good... Cahill. He's cut it back looking for a teammate. Hit the bar! Bishop treads it through. Should be! Dangerous pass, I think, with the keeper pushing it away. Fogba. Giroud. Lovely ball from Giroud. Very sharp reaction save from close in. Good first half for France. Now it's the second half for them. Here's Conte. Adrian Rabio. Pogba. Probing with the pass. Giroud. Super goalkeeping. It's gone behind for a France corner. going well for the home players and their supporters uh, the away players finding it hard in the match and the fans now getting very frustrated they think that there is some jiggery pokery going on here well it's uh, predictable I suppose but maybe even the home fans are a little bit unhappy they want to see their team go for one or two more goals but that might be the penalty given for France Kick against uh, Griezmann. For France now, that's going to be a card, and uh, it's a yellow one. Yeah, he backs off, puts up his hands, he's accepted it. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Might just have got away with him with that first touch, but it hasn't. Proasi. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Olivier Giroud. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. That'll be a throw for France.
Now it's Usman Dembele. And it's Giroud they're looking for with these crosses. Pogba hit the post. And they get it away. France get the throw. Poor throw. Straight to the opposition. Getting the ball back and thinking attack. Needs to stay cool now. Surely the equaliser. One on one. And he stood up to the opposition and kept it out. Well, you can't ask for a better opportunity than that. Should have done much better. Should have scored. Australia carrying the ball forward well. And up went the flag. Offside given, free kick. They decided to make a change, and being behind, you can understand that. Here's Dinia. Griezmann. Well, they're in a good position here. Giroud! Confident goalkeeping here. Yeah, good hand to turn it aside. Now that will be a corner. Taken by Griezmann. Papa! That's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Luca Dini. Pogba. Griezmann. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Good skill and strength to hold off the challenger. Keeping an eye on the time here. We still could have a decisive moment in the short time that remains. Pogba. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Free kick for France, and no disputing it. Pogba. Griezmann comes in with a tackle. Guiding it through. Well, it looked a bad mess. I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. shows three added minutes saw it coming cut it out good work Griezmann 
Rabio. Dembele. It must be. In with a chance. It's no goal. The flag's up. But certainly a, a well worked move, but uh, denied by the assistant. That's a huge call at this time of the game, Alan. Oh, isn't it, Justin? It was so close. Looking at it, well, I think he's just about got it right, the assistant. There it is, the final whistle. Good result to go with a, a good afternoon's work, really, because it wasn't for league points or cup progress, but it was to get them right for those challenges ahead. And they did look ready. They looked like a team that knew... Hi there everybody, I'm Martin Tyler, we're at the Don Vass Arena today, we being me and Alan Smith. Well this is a match-up between two international teams today. The disadvantage, Alan, is that they don't play together very often. The positive, of course, is they are the country's very best players. They are indeed, and we have got some quality players to enjoy out there today, but... Uh... As you say, not all of them have played together too often, so there might be a slight lack of understanding at times. This is the starting lineup today. Sergio Romero plays in goal. Federico Fazio plays alongside Nicolas Otamendi at the back. Ava, this with a chance to go into the lead now. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Looking good, this move. Shots off! The defenders managed to get in the way there. And headed to 
towards where a teammate can gather the ball. The shot's on! Oh, it's off the bar! Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Well, the referee has blown for the free kick. I don't think he's going to produce the yellow card. Bala, Eva Banega, Angel Di Maria, an attack from Argentina. This referee's got a good perception of when and when not to play the advantage. He's chosen to play it here. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Bilia. Angel Di Maria. Well, they're sitting off the opposition here, and that can invite pressure. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Aguero! That's the right kind of football dive to turn the shot away. Now that's a corner for Argentina. Corner's taken. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. Di Maria. Here's Messi. Oh, and Messi offside here. Stopped in his tracks. Gunnarsson. Here they are, on the attack. And now the shot! Well, that's deflected behind, it will be a corner. Corner taker was Sigurdsson. Very good distance to the clearance. Well, it's good progress with this attack. Got the ball back in his own penalty area though. Banega, Sergio Aguero. Well, the chance opened up here for Dybala. Eduardo Salvia. Dybala. Dybala. They've gone. And they've gone into the lead. And undoubtedly deserved. They have been by far the superior side. And they really imposed their will on the opposition. Too good, really, for the defending. And the shot, in the end, far too good for the goalkeeper. It's a good performance from a very good team. A team that we expected to be better than the opposition. That's the way it's panning out so far. Yeah, you'd expect them to ease away from the opposition in this match. Can't see any shocks in it. I can't really. Then with Argentina. Good asset. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Gonna try one now. To be dealt with by Sergio Romero in goal.
Mercado. Argentina are on their way, it seems, to another victory, but I wonder about the second half, whether they're good enough to see this through. Just got the... Messi! Aguero! Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. Di Maria now this looks promising there will be a minimum of three that's a wonderful tackle he's cut that out well well read Ibala so it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes Kick off at the start of the second half. Gunnarsson. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass can finish it off and you could see what he was trying to do passed it into the net but passed it off target well off target Eduardo Salvio and now Messi I think that's a good performance isn't it Alan from him in the first half well he played really well didn't he and he got himself a goal to put his team ahead he'll be pleased with that first cleverly done Dybala well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Number 21. Gunnarsson. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Eva Benega. Eduardo Salvio. And now Messi. Bilia. Eduardo Salvio. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. He's had a go here, and it's in the net for the goal. And that's the third, the hat trick. It's a day he'll never forget. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is for a special player too. A player that uh, is the clinical sort and has shown us that today. I have to say it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team. They're, they're racking up the goals. Angel Di Maria, Sergio Aguero. There's some potential in this move. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Quick-witted, quick in his movement too, to intercept there. Sergio Aguero. Tipala.
crossed in towards Di Maria. Wonderful chance from the ball in. Bilia. Won it back with an interception. He's got it back again from his teammate. Getting forward well as a team now. Crisp defending there. As for Argentina today, we thought they'd win. And that's going to be the case, I think. They are uh, in control. They have been for much of the match. Dybala. Dybala with a good ball in behind. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Sergio Aguero coming forward. Completely intercepted. Argentina, it's their ball, it's their throw. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. Bilia. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Now they've got the chance to push forward from this deepish position. Number 21. Paulo Dybala. Well, we've been locked in this position for a while. Probably the longest period in the game where the losing team haven't conceded. They're just seeing out time, and to be fair, the winning team are doing the same as well. Blow the whistle, ref. Two, two more minutes to play, that of added time. There it is, the final whistle. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref, a hat-trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. I can't recall seeing such a one-sided match, Alan, for a long time. No, one team turned up, the other one stayed in the dressing room, I think. It was incredible to watch.